Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how you can have an auto-generated message appear based on a logical expression in a Google Sheet or an Excel document. Um, now I'm going to show two different types of uh, functions. I'm going to show you what's called an um, if, so equals if, and it says returns value depending on a logical expression and an IFS, which is going to return multiple values depending on logical expressions. So let's start with the first one. So what if I want to have a logical expression, um, or I want, I'm sorry, something to appear here um, based on what the student's average is. So let's go ahead and hit equals, and then I'm going to do IF, and then I'm going to do parentheses. And now what I want to do is select the logical expression I want to validate, and I'm going to click on the average for student 1, and it's M3. And now what I want to do is say, okay, anything that's greater than, um, here we go, greater than or equal to 70, I want it to say something. So anything like 70 to 100, I want it to put something in the cell for me. I'm going to do comma, I'm going to do quotation, and then this is where you put in your phrase, on track and then I'm gonna do quotation and then I'm gonna do parentheses so now anything that is above a 70 will be uh, labeled on track now keep in mind I I'm, I'm messing up because right now if I hit enter anything that's below a 70 isn't is just gonna report NA. it doesn't know what to say so what I want to do here is after on track on the quotation I want to hit comma and I want to hit quotation not on track. So that now means any, and then do quotation and then parentheses, that means any value below a 70 will return the value not on track. I'm going to hit enter and notice it says the student is on track because they met the criteria. So let's lower their score. Let's go 50, 50, all right, 50. We're almost there, 50 and 50 and there. So at 69, let's do 50 again. And look, at 65, they're not on track. Um, so by simply lowering uh, the score down to below 70, you can see the default message appears not on track if they don't meet the criteria that I've set. Now that's great if you only have two things you want to appear, but what if you want more than one message to appear? So that means we're gonna have to use an IFS statement, which means it's gonna return multiple values depending on multiple logical expressions. So I've got IFS in uh, the cell now, and let's go ahead and change some of my parameters. Let's say anything that is less than an M3, anything that is less than 70, is developing. So we're gonna put developing. Um, and now again, let's delete this right here. You separate uh, what you're doing by a comma. And then I'm going to come, after I do the comma, I'm going to click on M3. And now I'm going to say anything that is less than or equal to 89.99, um, I'm going to do comma, quotation mark, on track. Right? Quotation mark. And then to separate, I'm going to hit a comma. And then I'm going to click on M3 again. And this time I'm going to say anything that is greater than or equal to 90, comma, quotation mark, excelling. And then I'm going to do quotation mark. And then note the parentheses is already there, so we're good to go. So now I have three different statements that will be made based on the student's grade, and I'm going to hit enter. So now it says the student is developing. So if I come over to here, type in 100, type in 100. All right, so now they're at 70, so they're on track. Now they're at 75. Let's keep going across the cells till we get to where I want to be. And at 88, they're still on track. And now 93, they're excelling. And then if I want, I can click on uh, this function that I've created, a left click uh, on the bottom right corner and drag all the way down. And now I've got my pre-built messages for all the different criteria that I have for all the students um, in the sheet. Uh, this is just an example. Um, you don't have to use this for a grade book. That is not the intention of the video, but it's just to show you um, something that's been powerful for me and what I do with Sheets and Excel. Uh, and I hope that this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching uh, this tutorial, and uh, I hope you were helped by it. Thank you so much for watching.